Hello, Mark. Is it day six? I'm well, not too more. sure. I can't I'm sure give it up. Maybe we'll give it. stop the day count. <laughs> uh, but, right, well, the previous bits of filming, I think, showed me using the epoxy and the filler to bond these parts together. It's not something I've done much of in the past. I've glued an awful lot of wood, but I've not used epoxy that you have to thicken up to give it more uh, grip, I suppose, perhaps you might call it, and stop it running away from the joint. And we did that yesterday, and I think it worked quite well, actually. I'm pleased with it. I kept what was left of the uh, glue pot to see how hard it set. There be that being the cup, and it certainly set hard. So, um, confident that it would have worked. Now, I've started to remove some of the nails from here. It's um, it's like Christmas morning, Mark. It is. Without the, uh, the threat of hours of cooking and washing up, of course. But um, I've taken these ones out already, so I'll just extract the rest of these and we can have a little look to see what it looks like. So, take these out here, these little spreaders that distribute the pressure. Uh, all seem to work fine with those. And then these here, which hold the two halves tight together whilst I applied the butt strap. Don't laugh, Mark. I won't. Now, um, the tape that prevents the adhesive from sticking to the board underneath um, has worked quite well, actually. There we are, oh, pops off. Perfect. There. And if I lift it up there, we can see the joint on that side. What's it look like, Mark? I can't Pretty see it. Pretty good. Pretty oh, good. Oh, yeah. This gets sanded back. That's quite normal there. Uh, and if there's any gaps, we can just mix some more of this filler up. And then we've got the masking tape on this side, which prevented the worst of the glue spread. But again, this is this is sanded around here and tidied up and varnished in the end anyway. So that's gone very well. I did take apart the other two sides earlier on. Um, and we can move across to show you what the next stage is. So move around here, Mark. So these are the two sides now, which are lying on top of each other. Exactly the same process took place on these parts here. Uh, and we can see how closely they match. So I'm very pleased with that. They match exactly. I did wonder if there wouldn't be a little bit of difference between them, where yeah. the joint might have been slightly different angle, but it turns out to be great. Tiny bit of planing to do in the center there to even them up. Um, but well, the next step, Mark, is to tape and fix the ends and then stretch it out into a canoe shape. So that's probably going to be the next clip, Mark. Quite excited by that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Canoe. Hey, that's going to look pretty good. And what you're stitching the ends with, Neil? Well, on the end here, it's going to be using this uh, thick gaffer tape here. And it's taped a lot across here and pinched tight. And then if you just wait there, Mark, I'll show you the next part. And the holes with this, this wire here. Pass it through and twist it. That's just going to stop it opening up. So you'll, you'll, you'll do a stitch effect. Yeah, just... well, not not quite a stitch effect, but I might drill four holes down there and put oh, right. four loops, and then we can tighten them up uh, as we need to. And that will uh, be removed. And removed afterwards. Yeah, I guess it might actually because there'll be a, an epoxy filler up the inside. It might be that part of it is bonded in forever, but you just clip it off flush and fill over it because the outside will be painted anyway and you wouldn't see it on the inside because it will be hidden within the fillet. So Brilliant. if it comes out, it comes out. If it doesn't, it's buried in there and nobody knows yeah. anyway. So. so next installment, which it will be, a, which will be today. Yeah. part of this video. Yeah, I'll, I'll be taping it up now, wiring it up and stretching it out. And that's where these stretches come in. These different bands of wood are what hold it apart at the right. This is the one for the centre. So right on the centre there, it will be stretched apart at this width using this piece of wood. Tiny screw in the end to hold it in position, and that's what gives it its shape, Mark. Great. Looking forward to that, really, Alex. <laughs> I am as well. I, I, there, <laughs> building I, a want to see, I want to see this, then sitting on that. That's what it'll be. See what it looks day, like. That's where we should be, Mark. Fantastic. Right, catch you a bit okay. later. Cheers, Cheers, mate. Hello, Mark. About half an hour later, I've done it. I've managed to take the ends and get one spreader into it. It's a really short quick this. I'll show you more later. But I've taped the ends, I put wire twists in. Now you can do it with cable ties, but what I like about the wire twist is you've got really fine adjustment by getting a pair of pliers and twisting this in and out, you can make millimeters of adjustment because I just had to let those out, they were too tight because it was too pinched at that point there. So I'll play with that, I'll line it all up there, get the rest of the spreaders in, and then uh, that'll probably when I see you next. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. I love it. And then if you give me a shout, we'll drop this. That's right, we need to spin it over and take the base on that. That's okay, what's next. brilliant. There we go. I'll just do a quick run down. Look at this. This hasn't moved. It's brilliant, isn't it? Now the joint's been perfect. I'm really happy with that. Right down to the other end. She's looking like a nice little case yeah. this one. Two. Great. Right, catch you later. 
Just back to it for a sec. All right, Mark, we're uh, just putting the spreaders in now. Now they need to be positioned below the 19 mil line, which is here. I've marked it on hey, the there. line that runs around here. So these spreaders, I can mark it on the inside and the outside, sit below there. That's a little packing piece just to hold it in position there. And uh, that, that should, although that piece is just split, it should be enough, though. It's in, it's in position. So we put these four in. These are the critical ones, the four that he says that give the boat the best shape. There's only three at the moment. There's only yeah. two at the end. So that's where we are at the moment, Mark. Okay. <laughs> yeah, good mate. Looking impressive. Never been filmed so much. Star. Hello, Mark. Neil, Hello. back to you. Yeah. Um, the spreaders are in, so we've made some progress now. This will hold the form, the shape at the top here, and we're about to invert it, turn it upside down. That's a posh word for turn it upside down. It is. Very and good. then um, pop it on another couple of benches over there. On the, uh, and then we will tape the base on. So that's probably the next thing you'll see is when the base is being taped onto it. But it's getting there, Mark. It's starting to have the right shape at the very end. Looking next, good. It? Look at it. You can see the sides are just starting to curve in. Yeah, they will do. And they get pulled in. They will get pulled in as you yeah. tape it in. So they'll be a little tapering more towards the bottom there. And it yes. gets more its form and shape then. So we've just flipped it on its belly and get a couple of buttons. And then the uh, base goes on. Look at that. There we go. So we've flipped it up, inverted it, and um, we've just put these buttons on here, put the base on here, and checked it all lines up, did a rough lining up on it, and it's all where it should be. So we're going to start by lining these seams up here, uh, taping around here, and then you work, finding out either side till you've taped it into it position. Sits, it sits on the edge. It I just, just asked Neil, yeah. So it does it, this bit goes inside, and that sits on the top there. And then I'll do a little round off on there with a the router. Well, not actually. The tape stays on till I've bonded the inside, pull the tape off, which will it, yeah. round it, and then we've got a piece of uh, glass fibre tape, which is then epoxied onto there. But you'll see all that in future clips anyway. So that should be where we see the next set of clips finished off. Look at that. Fantastic. Right. Oh, Mark. Hi, Neil. Getting there. Uh, just tapping a few pins in here and there, not all the way in, you can see it, we'll pull them back out again afterwards. But the tape's just not quite enough to hold it where I want it to be, ah. so I'm, I'm using a combination of the two. And I'll pin it every sort of, I don't know, you can see how far, whatever it needs. I've got to have a look at and this. Then, uh, and then that's just, that's just holding it that bit better. I look think at that's that. going to be worth doing it. All, get, all these pinholes will be filled, because there's a piece of glass fibre tape that will run over the top of the yeah. pinholes. So, you know, you won't even know that they were there, but I think it's better to just pin it in the right place. Look at the line of that. Lovely, isn't it, Mark? That's brilliant. Yeah, it's getting there, Look at that. It? You know, I'll, I'll uh, sit up in it, and then uh, it'll get joined together tomorrow, perfectly. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Yeah. Frustrating, the tape keeps creeping off. Would it be anything better than that? Can you use well, that? I suppose if you sanded it and sealed it a little bit. Oh first, yeah, because it would stick to that. It's, it's, but it? it's just put the, the surface is just a bit powdery, a bit porous because it's only been rough sanded. The but surface. mind you, it's put the pins but in. That's why I'm pinning it, Mike. So I'm going to pin it every six inches, and, and, and I'm happy with that. And well, you take bit. these out, and then yeah, they'll pop back out. The only, the only, they, they obviously go from the top piece of ply, and yeah. they probably go to the bottom piece of ply. You know, three or four, five mils, just just enough to hold it where it needs to be. Yeah. That's great. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. See you, mate. Bye. Right. Thank you.